channel. I decided that today I was going to do a fall inspired look. My camera's about to die, so I'm trying to hurry and get this out. It's kind of more of a dramatic look, um, but it's really easy to do. I'll show you all the steps. It's really simple. So if you want to see how I got this look, keep watching and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay guys, we're going to start off with foundation primer. This is the hydrating one from Laura Mercier. I have pretty dry skin, so a hydrating one is really good for me. And I'm just going to rub this all over my face, and then I'm going to pat it in as well. Then I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and take that all over my eyes, and even under my eyes, because that's going to help my concealer not to crease. And after we've primed our eyelids, we're going to go in with concealer. And we're going to put this on any dots that we have. I have pretty smooth skin, but I have acne scarring because after I had my son a year ago, my face just went crazy with breakouts. So I'm just going to be hiding those blemishes. I like to do it before my foundation, but you could do this after if you wanted to. And then I'm going to set it with my Cody Airspun setting powder. And I just do a little light dusting of this all over my face, and it's going to help that concealer stay and help my foundation to stay longer. As you can tell, we're priming everything, so we have to prime the lips as well. This is my baby lips, and I'm just putting this on to hydrate my lips. And then today, I'm going to mix two foundations. The first one, Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation because of my dry skin. And this stuff literally stays all day long. It's awesome. And I'm mixing it with my L'Oreal True Match Lumi. And my colors are N12 Neutral in the Lumi, and the color for Smashbox is 2.3. This next product is like my favorite product of all time. Like I am so obsessed with this, it's not even funny. But it's called the Bronze Glow Stick from Laura Mercier, and it's basically a cream bronzer in a stick, and it's awesome. And this is also my favorite brush. It's the Stippling Brush by Real Techniques. And this combo I seriously use, I yeah, pretty much every day. And it just buffs in perfectly. It goes well with my dry skin. I can just make everything look flawless and just sun-kissed and bronzed. It's amazing. Then I'm gonna do my concealer. This is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer in the color Radiant. And I just like to apply this under my eyes and then down the bridge of my nose and on my forehead. And then I'll do my chin and then around my nose area. And I do the nose area because that's where I tend to be a little bit more red. And then I blend this in with my Sigma, uh, I don't remember what brush this is, but I'll link it down below. So I'm just gonna continue blending this in. I use my fingers on my nose and then I use the brush all around the rest of my face. And then I kind of tend to lose a little bit of the bronze, so I go back in with the stippling brush. I don't take any new product, I just kind of darken up the color that's already on the brush. And then here is another product I'm obsessed with. This is the NARS um, Highlight and Contour Duo, and it's in the color Paloma. And I just take the highlight color and I do it everywhere that I did the concealer, and then I take the darker color, and I'm gonna do that everywhere I did the bronzer from Laura Mercier and I'm just gonna put this all over and blend in any harsh lines and make it so that there's a nice gradient between the light and the dark. So for my brows I use this brow pencil with an angled brush and if you want a detailed tutorial on how I do my brows we can do that but I'm just gonna skip through it now. Now oh, the power of editing. So this is what we're gonna be doing on the eyes today. Isn't it pretty? So to start off, I'm gonna use this Jumbo NYX Eye Pencil in the color Yogurt, which sounds so gross to put on your eyes, but the color is really pretty, but nothing that I would expect from yogurt. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna take um, creme brulee, which happens to be my absolute favorite dessert. Oh, wait, I forgot. We're gonna do some tape, and I put it on the back of my hand so it's not as sticky, but this is going to give us a more defined line. So you wanna match it up between your bottom lash line and up to the end of your brow. And then just take the fluffy brush and do that creme brulee in there. And then I'm gonna take an angled brush from e.l.f. and I'm gonna go in with Coco Bear. These were both Makeup Geek eyeshadows. You can get them online, I'll link them down below. 
And this is like a pretty reddish color and I'm just going to put that in my crease and kind of down on the outer third of my eyelid. And I'm just going to blend and blend and blend and add more color and blend some more and add more color and blend some more. That's honestly the key to a good makeup. And then I'm going to go in with the color, oh yep, my lighting is going crazy on me. There was a cloud, I apologize. So if you see it changing, that's why. And then that dark brown color was Espresso from the Lorac Pro Palette. And then this color is from a Maybelline Quad. The quad is called Copper, and I'm just using the lightest shade to brighten up my tear duct. Then I'm going to take the tape off, and look at that line, girl. Ooh, yeah. Now I'm going to go back in with Creme Brulee. So many, like, food eyeshadows. It's making me hungry. And then Cocoa Bear on top of that, and just blend it on my bottom lash line. And then I'm going to go in with NARS Via Vianetto or Viento, something like that. It's their black liner and it's waterproof and smudge proof, it's awesome. So I'm taking this in the waterline and in my tight line on the top. And take any pencil brush that you have and just smudge that out so there's no harsh lines and that everything looks nice and smoky. I'm going to curl my eyelashes with my Shiseido eyelash curler and then I'm going to apply a small amount of mascara to the top and bottom lashes and this is the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal. Now for some odd reason I decided now is a good time for blush so we're going to do the Milani Dulce Pink. It's their baked blush and it is gorgeous. It's a beautiful rose color and I just put this on the apples of my cheeks and kind of blend it upwards. Then I'm taking black from the Lorac Pro Palette and I'm going to cover the band of where my eyelashes are. I apply these off camera because I was not in focus at all so I'll do another tutorial for that. And this bronzer is also from Milani. It's the color Fake Tan. It's their all over glow bronzer. And I just apply that to give my face more color. And sad day, my highlighter is broken because of my daughter. But this is the Mary Luminizer from The Balm. And just watch what it does. Like, look at down my nose. Like, it just highlights everything and just, oh, I, I'm in love with it. It's beautiful. Now that everything's done, I just like to darken up my shadows if I feel like any of the colors not as dark as I had originally planned after lashes are on. So that's what I'm doing is I'm just adding more color. Now on to lips. I'm going to outline my lips in a Mineral Fusion. It's actually an eye pencil in the color Touch, but I really like it for my lips. So I'm going to outline all around my lips and then I'm going to take the color Warm Me Up from Maybelline. It's a lipstick and I'm going to apply this all over to my lips. And then I'm going to take the color Blushing Beige, also from Maybelline, and add that to the centers right here. Oh, I love that lip combo. It is just gorgeous. So then you're done. This is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you next time. Please subscribe to my channel. And I love you. Bye. Yeah.